Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. Head there, click on the Library Marketing Show tab, and you can suggest a topic for a future episode or nominate your library or another library for kudos. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload one of these videos. If you're watching on LinkedIn, make sure you follow me. So again, you'll get a notification. Today, we're going to be answering a topic from a viewer. This person asked me to talk about click-through rates. They are, I think, sending emails. They have a very high open rate, but a low click-through rate, and they wanted to talk about how to improve their click-through rate so we i love this you know i'm all about following metrics and improving the effectiveness of your library marketing so in case you've never thought about click-through rates a click-through rate is the number of times that your email or sometimes your social media post or your ads online the number of times that that digital marketing piece receives a click divided by the number of times that digital marketing piece is seen by your entire audience. So let's say you post on social media, your post gets seen by a hundred people or gets a hundred impressions and you have five clicks on your social media post that would give you a click through rate of 5%. A click through rate is really one of the best ways that you can track the effectiveness of your digital marketing. And it's a little tricky for me to talk about good click through rates for libraries because there's nobody who tracks industry average for libraries. So we have to compare ourselves to similar industries like education, advocacy, philanthropy. A good click through rate for email in any of those industries can range anywhere between 1% and 5%. On average, you're going to want to try to get at least 25 to 3%. Although getting higher than that is something that we love to see. And I have seen lots of libraries that I work with get much higher than 5%. I've seen libraries get into the 30 and 40% range, which is incredible. What that means is they're sending content to their patrons that is really resonating with them. When we're talking about social media, again, this is difficult to say because there are a couple of social media platforms, specifically Instagram and TikTok, that do not share their total metrics with uh, industry experts. So we don't know what a good click-through rate is on those platforms. We do know that the Facebook has the highest click-through rate, about 3.86% on average. That's followed by LinkedIn, that has 3.55. Twitter's click through rate is pretty much non-existent. Twitter is great for brand awareness. It's great for calling out your users and the great things that they do sharing user generated content. It's not so great for getting people to check out books or register for programs. And again, we have no stats for Instagram or TikTok. A couple of things you can do to improve your click through rate specifically for emails. And I'm going to put down in the show description, a link to a blog post I wrote about improving your click-through rate on emails. If you're watching me on LinkedIn, it's going to be in the comments of this post. But basically, you just wanna promote the best content possible. You don't wanna send an email to promote every single program or every single service that your library carries. Same with social media posts. You don't wanna promote everything on every channel. Choose your promotion strategically and put the best stuff out there. That's what's gonna get your audience excited. Also, especially for email, targeting your message. Your click-through rate is going to skyrocket when you are sending something to a person and it's something that they want. So this is why I'm a big advocate of segmenting your audience and specifically setting up an opt-in page on your website where people can self-select what they wanna receive from you. For an example of that, I'm gonna put a link down in the show description or in the comments on LinkedIn. And finally, this is especially true for emails. If you're sending an email and you've got um, a link that you want people to click on, putting it in several places in the email is a great way to increase your click-through rate. So if you are sending an email asking people to register for a program, you're gonna have a banner probably on your email, make that banner clickable to go straight to your program calendar. Also your call to action, and then you can embed another link somewhere else, maybe in the text. 
having your link in multiple places is going to increase the likelihood that someone is going to click and take an action. I'm sure you at your library have some advice for my friend who wrote in. Thank you so much, by the way, for suggesting that topic. It's awesome. I love talking about data. If you have done something specific to improve the click-through rates for your library digital promotions, let us know down in the comments. We really appreciate that. Again, head to superlibrarymarketing.com to suggest a topic or nominate a library for kudos. And kudos today is going to go to the Oxford University Libraries. I'm going to put a link to this in the show description for YouTube or in the comments on LinkedIn, but it is a quiz that they put together where people can go through and answer like five questions and it's going to tell them which of their library locations they should visit. And it is so cool and so fun and I know absolutely nothing about Oxford University, their libraries. I don't, I've never visited any of these libraries, but I just think it's a really fun and engaging way to get people into your branches. It's gamification and I thought it was awesome. So kudos to Oxford University. That's all I have for today. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already or followed me, please do so. As always, thanks so much for spending time with me and I'll see you next time.